button so you'll never miss an upload for me and if you're an od welcome welcome back so today i am going to be sharing with you guys five goals that i have for this month um i wanted to make this more of a habit for myself um like jotting down goals um that i have that i want to achieve within that month um whether they're big or small um, I just wanted to pretty much get myself on a specific track to keep me organized and, you know, making what I want plain and so I can accomplish it. So, yeah. If you want to see this video, go ahead and continue watching. And, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, guys. So, for my first goal, um, I put be persistent. And the reason why I chose this goal is because um, all the things that I'm trying to do and accomplish in my life right now, it requires for me to be consistent to the best that I can be. Um, and it's also going to teach me how to juggle those things as well. I am a new mom, so me being consistent and trying to get things right um, and organized is a big, big thing. Um, but my main goal with the being consistent, um, I want to be consistent on my business, my blog, excuse me, my channel, um, my overall life, everything that I'm pretty much getting my hands on, I want to be consistent at. So that's pretty much my uh, main goal with that goal. For my second goal, um, it is to start working out. Um, I'm now in a phase in my life where I want to um, be more healthy and um, taking my health and everything more serious. I'm not saying that I don't take my health serious, but um, I just kind of went through a period in my life where I didn't really um, feel like myself. Uh, physically um, I just felt very like blah um, big heavy um, ugly and all that it could be hormones because like I said I did have a daughter um, 10 months ago and after I gave birth to her I just didn't feel good or pretty or whatever you want to call it I just eh, I just didn't feel like myself and for quarantine to happen, it didn't make it any better because, you know, you're not really doing anything but just being around eating or whatever. So, that didn't really help. But, yeah, I just don't really care for how I look right now. And I'm taking it upon myself to kind of change it. So, I'm doing uh, little things to kind of change that around. Um, like, becoming more active. Um, I'm trying my best to go walk every day with my daughter. She likes the walks too, so that's like a win-win situation. But um, And incorporate some uh, workouts in if I can. So just trying to start that off and see how you know that goes or whatever. So yeah. Um, for my third goal, I put talk to God more. And um, the reason why I chose this goal, which I feel should be a goal for everybody... But um, I chose this goal because, um, I mean, I mean, self-explanatory. I need him in my life. Um, but talking to him more, I feel, helps me out a lot. Um, you know, we can have friends that we call and talk to, but to me, it's not really the same. Um, because, in my opinion, God has more of a listening ear he's actually listening to what you're saying and taking in consideration what you're saying um and you can pretty much go to him with whatever it is without any judgment and just leave it there you get what i mean and yes he's going to respond to you because you know when you're talking to him sometimes you're asking for things or whatever the case may be but 
some of the things that we're asking for is not necessarily what we need in our life, um, what we want in our life, or, or what he wants in our life. Um, so we just have to be careful with those things. Um, I guess you can say, you know, asking for discernment on what it is that, you know, you need to see or whatever. Um, and with him, he can help you out with those things, you know. Always be careful for what it is that you ask for. So talking to him, you will get those clarity on things, if that makes sense. Um, my next goal is to, this would be goal number four. But my next goal is to be diligent. This kind of coincides with um, the being consistent. I want to be consistent and also be diligent. But um, when making these goals or making goals, period, you don't want to just make goals just to make goals. You want to actually accomplish your goals. You want to see um, the things that you pray for come into, you know, come to pass and things like that. Like, I want to not only be consistent at my goals, I want to be diligent with them. So I want to make them, I want them to work. I want them to come to pass and stuff like that. So pretty much not only make the goal, but be diligent with the goal, if that makes sense. Um, and my last and final goal, this is uh, goal number five. It is to be calm and listen. The reason why I wrote that, it's very, very like, be calm and listen. But um, it meant something to me because um, I think of being calm and, and that aspect is being at peace or being peaceful or whatever. But um, pretty much you want to be calm in all aspects of your life. For, for me, I want to be calm when it comes to pretty much everything. Um, I have to be calm when it comes to my business, when it comes to just my overall life, me being a mom, um, because that all those things require you to be more at a calm state, being patient, and different things like that. So, um, being calm and remaining calm, I feel like that's, you know, a good goal for me to have and then the listening part um that excuse me that goal is for me to taking in wisdom from others um whether it be people or god um sometimes you know when you're asking god for things uh you also need to have that listening ear for when he you know pretty much talks back to you you know you don't want to just ask for something and then when he's ready to respond you're not even in the space to listen to him because then you're going to miss your blessing um but then when it comes to wisdom from other people you never know who or what people can give you wisdom on so you want to just make sure that you know you're available to hear what they're saying pretty much so yeah, those are my five goals that I have for this month. It's pretty short and simple, but they all have meaning in some sort. Um, in my opinion, like I said, these are my personal five goals that I want for myself. Um, everybody's goals for either this month or for their life are different. But to start off August or to end August or whatever, excuse me um these are the five goals that i want to accomplish so yeah um if you like this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up go ahead and leave a comment down below what are your goals what is something that you want to see accomplished and let's chit chat about that down below if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do so and i'll see you guys in my next one bye